customization is one of the many features this game has to offer there is so much you can do to your vehicle so let's take a look at six modification tricks to use instead of southwest Florida. First and foremost, there is so much you can do to your vehicle, so it can be very tempting to use all of those things. So honestly, just pick a theme to actually go for. What kind of car are you actually making? For example, are you making one in the theme of an apocalypse? Are you making one for off-roading? A drag build? What are you actually going for? You gotta understand that for one. When the Dodge Demon launches in real life on an actual drag strip, it does a wheelie sometimes, and it looks insanely cool. But however, in game, it does not do that at all. It is very unamusing, I know. However, we can actually replicate that. Just head to a shop, go into here, then customize, then go to performance. First step, obviously, you're gonna need some power. If your um vehicle doesn't have that, all right. <laughs> Alright, then you're gonna head to suspension. This is where the magic happens. So first step, you're gonna max out the pre comp, max out the extension limit, and then put the compression limit to somewhere around the max, not actually the max, but somewhere around it. So this can be like. 570 all right and then of course lower the stiffness just like that just like so and then what you're gonna want to do next is lower the dampening to somewhere around 200 i'm gonna do 180 all right and then i'll replicate that for the front all right then there's a suspension too then we have the differential on oh, this is optional let me press i'll let this switch the gel chain to all which i have all right all right then for the differential you're gonna put the power to the max put the close to five then i put the preload to 20 all right it goes to be five and then the preload will be 20 as well then i put the torque vectoring to 35 and then make sure you get a shorter funnel drive for more acceleration and boom there you have it already time for the launch in three two one take a look at that man now technically speaking it's not really a wheelie there's not really enough force for the car to actually do a wheelie but hey we're actually close to it but let's launch it one more time because it is so funny to look at <laughs> it's not a wheelie but it is very close all right <laughs> okay let me do it one more time right one more time one more time that is sick we have my gt 350r with this very cool looking blue stripe and then here's the factory paint and they all have their own stripe like what if i want a blue mustang with let's say a black stripe unfortunately i cannot do that with the red factory paint it comes with a black stripe but with the blue no black stripe well here is how you can actually achieve that so again i want a blue mustang with a black stripe all you have to do is select the paint that actually has a black stripe for example this one then make the purchase of this factory color then head to custom paint and then choose your desired color that you want with the stripe and boom there you have it a blue mustang with a black stripe what if i want an orange factory color with a white stripe pretty simple go ahead and buy the factory paint with the white stripe it's a custom paint and then go to orange just like so and boom there you have it and let's say that i want a red mustang with a white stripe just do the process again go for the factory paint that has the white stripe purchase and then put the car color to red boom just like that have my beautiful gt500 this car looks really nice but honestly let's lower it let's lower it to the point that this vehicle can't even drive anymore so let's head to the shop and customize it then performance then head to suspension like usual now you probably do the usual you know just lowering the stiffness and then lower the pre-comp and yeah the vehicle does get low but what if you want to make this thing even lower to the point the the car is literally on the ground like the not the tire specifically the the car you know <laughs> anyway basically head to here the compression limit and then increase it then your vehicle is is going to go even lower take a look at that and of course do it for the front lower the stiffness lower the pre-comp and then lower the compression limit i'm gonna increase it my bad <laughs> and boom there you go now you have an incredibly low vehicle basically your car is undrivable now all right i mean take a look dog do you really think this vehicle is going to function now come on now take a look at this bro i mean <laughs> look at that bro it's not even driving yeah honestly the car is not useful now so um yeah well you want to achieve an even lower vehicle and well there you have it change our drivetrain and we can do it using the standard settings we have rwd awd and then fwd rwd sends all the power to the rear wheels and the awd sends the power to all the wheels and then for fwd it sends the power to the front wheels but what if you want to send the power individually so first step let's get all wheel drive and then you see the differential actually looks different all right for example let's make a front wheel drive vehicle all right so first things first i'm gonna decrease everything on the rear differential just bring them all down to zero then i'll put the power on the front diff to 100 then it's for vectoring all the way to the left and uh to prove that i made this vehicle from which i with a differential i don't really need to do much to actually prove that just do this yeah this thing is definitely your front wheel drive now all right now let's say that i want a a rear wheel drive drive train now very simple just do the opposite of what we just did increase everything on the front diff then put the power to the rear diff then put the circuit vectoring all the way to 100 and take a look at that this is definitely rear wheel drive it definitely worked all right most definitely <laughs> now how is this a hack and well to answer that honestly i don't know 
to be honest but um if you want a vehicle that's slightly all-wheel drive or slightly rear-wheel drive this is how you can make it happen you know